Now, we all know that American football is a tough sport, a brutal one, but they have padding, they have helmets, that sort of protects them. So, rugby is probably just as brutal a sport as American football, but there's no padding, no protection. So, can you imagine playing that game with an illness called sickle cell, which is a genetic condition that impacts the flow of oxygen to the blood? We've been speaking to Nigerian Ade Adebisi, who is the only known rugby league player to play professionally with the illness. The stigma in sickle cell in general is terrible around the world, especially in Nigeria. Nobody believes in you when you tell them you have sickle cell, so it's quite tough. Ade Adebisi is on a mission. He's a former rugby league player who played at the sport's highest level in the UK with a career lasting for 11 years. He did this while battling sickle cell, a genetic blood disorder with serious health applications where sufferers can experience chronic pain along with other symptoms. And now he's using his love for rugby to try and change perceptions around the disease. In Africa, over 300,000 kids are born with sickle cell. And the stats there are crazy. Maybe 30 or 40 percent of those will never, you know, never grow old to the age of five. And it, it, it's, um, it's something it's, it's something that needs awareness. And you know, hopefully, you know, with what we're doing with the rugby and you know, with the sickle cell, we can use sort of rugby to tackle the sickle cell stigma. You played rugby for 11 years with a condition that is known to sometimes have you know untimely death after a crisis first explain to me like i am 12 what yeah. a crisis is what is going on in your body when you experience one for me when i have a crisis the only way i can explain it is just someone taking a hammer to my arm and just whacking it constantly so what happens is your red blood cells get stuck to each other when you have a crisis so then it stops the oxygen flow into whatever particular body part it is. So sometimes it causes organ failures and people die from it. Guys, go, 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 go. Great work, well done. It's not been an easy career with, you know, some sort of bullying at the young age with the players, not understanding what sickle cell was. When we was doing long distance training, they always used to think I was um, unfit. I wasn't putting any efforts in, but they didn't understand, you know, they didn't understand what it was. And in, in, in England, it's not a condition a lot of people have. So um, it's, um, it's quite um, difficult to be able to explain to them what sickle cell was. Really, Ade, of all of the sports you could have chosen to play, why did you choose rugby? My family, especially my mum, when I told them that I wanted to train, just training, not uh, playing, I wanted to train rugby, they were all against it, talking about if I break my leg, it wouldn't heal because I have sickle cell. So it was just trying to scare me at the time, just to try and stop me from playing rugby. Come on, guys. Would you say rugby changed your life? Of course. Having sickle cell, I know a lot of people a lot of people think it's a bad thing. For me, it's just a normal thing, you know. Um, I've, I've just lived with my life. I've lived with it. Rugby changed my life, so I want to try and come back to Nigeria and hopefully we can change these players' lives as well. That story is so inspiring to me, personally, because sickle cell is something that has affected my family personally and I know it's something that affects many Africans and what Ade is trying to do I find incredibly inspiring. It's almost time for us to go for a break but when we come back we'll be hearing about a women's American football team, yes I said a women's American football team in Cairo. This is Sport Africa, the BBC.